Hey everybody, welcome back to the weekly Aldi haul. It's a little tiny this week, despite the fact that we're eating most of our meals at home because we're sort of experimenting with different recipes this week since we are having a little staycation and that requires um, more unusual ingredients that you can't necessarily find at your Aldi. But um, so, you know, I bought what I needed from Aldi or what I could find and then I'll hit up the specialty store later. And today we are joined by Simon, who is giving himself a little bath. Okay, so let's just dive into this quick haul. We have here some uh, French vanilla coffee creamer. Um, this one, you know, since we are home, um, having coffee in the morning and cooking breakfast. Uh, and the big dog really likes his flavored sweet coffee, so I bought the French vanilla coffee creamer. Okay, then next to that we have some one dozen large golden hen eggs. Um, this is, you know, uh, we are eating quite a few eggs, but we do have, you know, like two cartons in the refrigerator, so I didn't think we needed more than just one, at least for now. Okay, on to the produce. So these avocados, they are pretty much almost ready. I mean, you feel them, they got a little bit of give to them. Um, they were on sale. Normally, they used to be like 75 cents, and I noticed that they went up to a little bit more uh, for each one. But today, the sign said they were on sale for 69 cents each. So we've been doing um, these avocado rice bowls. Um, those are great for a quick lunch because we usually have some leftover rice from dinner. So you heat up the rice in the microwave for a little bit and then you um, take half an avocado and then you also fry up an egg or an over easy egg and you put it in the little hole where the pit of the avocado is. And then for the rice, we either season it up with some uh, suyu sauce and bonito flakes or you use, I believe it was sesame oil and kimchi. Um, those are the two varieties we've tried so far and it's really good. But if we don't do the rice bowls with the avocado, um, I also thought we could make some guacamole because I've got some red onions in the fridge. And as you can see here, I bought some plum tomato, or no, Roma tomatoes, Roma tomatoes. Um, because my basil in my little indoor garden is going crazy. It's so big, I just definitely need to um, prune it back. So instead of wasting the basil, I'm gonna make some of my you know tomato basil bruschetta thing. But also we could use um, some tomatoes to make um, a little batch of guacamole. So that's what the tomatoes are for. All right, then here we've got um, the English seedless cucumbers. I bought two of them. I like to do a couple of things with them. Uh, for one thing, I love making my new version of like a crunchy Japanese tuna salad. I add the Korean radish in there and um, some salted cucumbers. Um, but of course, you know, I don't need a whole cucumber. So another thing I like to do with cucumbers uh, is make my quick Asian pickled cucumber. We've been into the pickled dishes lately. But lastly, like I said, this is an experimental cooking week. I saw a recipe for like a quick stir fry cucumber with like um, sesame oil and sesame seeds. So I thought we'd give that a try. So um, two cucumbers should be plenty because it's not a main dish, it's a side dish. Okay, then I have here my classic coleslaw, coleslaw mix by Little Salad Bar. We are going to have again the Korean street toast, which has... Um, cabbage and carrots in it and you know the recipe says to slice up the cabbage but I'm too lazy to do that and since it comes with perfectly sliced cabbage and carrots already it just makes life that much easier so we are going to have Korean street toast again okay then I have here two containers of strawberries by Wish Farms they were on sale for 99 cents each which is a really good price um, I didn't buy any grapes this week, so this is our sole fruit, aside from the uh, mango I buy from the Asian store. Um, but of course, as usual, I will air fry these because it's so good when you air fry them with just cinnamon. Um, if you want to make it sweet, of course, you could add sugar, but I don't want... I think it's sweet enough as is. 
so I don't add any extra sugar. Okay, let's do the mixed greens. The organic mixed greens, once again, a smaller container because um, I do like to eat some salads on my own for meals at home, so that's what this is for. Okay, then I have here um, dull green leaf lettuce. So this, in combination with the Chunk Light Tuna and Oil by Northern Catch, um, it's going to be for a spicy tuna stew that you eat in a lettuce wrap. So once again, that's another recipe I found. I believe it might be Korean in nature since the, um, the lady who put the recipe on is known for her Korean dishes. So um, I don't usually buy tuna in oil, but her recipe specifically calls for that. And it says you need about 500 grams. And each of these is about 150, so I thought that would be just about enough. So um, the tuna and the lettuce are for the chunky tuna stew lettuce wraps. Okay, then we have here some Smithfield Anytime Favorites um, Hardwood Smoked Ham Steak. It's already pre-cooked. Um, so this, along with some russet potatoes, um, which I didn't buy from Aldi because I don't need a whole large bag. I literally need like two. Um, I'm going to make uh, stir-fried potatoes and ham. So um, that's what this is for. That was supposed to be like a lunch, but I think we can make it for dinner. I think between this and then maybe like the stir-fried cucumbers and some rice and then lots of our other pickled vegetables that we've we've made and we have in, in stock, um, you know, we're going to have a pretty hearty meal. Okay, then last I have here, well not last, but last of the meat products, I have two packs of the Black Angus stew meat. The price has gone up. It used to be $4.49. It is now $5.49 a pound. But what we plan to do with this smaller one here, which is under a pound, um, we bought those, the two types of instant Korean noodles. One is the chapagetti and the other is a neoguri. And you mix those together and you cook. And in this case, we're going to cook it up with some, quote, steak or just, you know, beef meat. And um, you make, was it chapagudi? Oh, my pronunciation is terrible. But anyways, we tried it last week and it was really good. Um, it's a little bit spicy from the neoguri needle, I mean, noodles. Uh, but it has that black bean kind of greasy flavor from the chapagetti. And you mix those two together with some steak. It was very simple, very quick, under 10 minutes for a lunch. The longest part was probably cooking up the beef and boiling up the noodles. So that's what this is for, you know, like one of our lunches again this week. And the other one is going to be for um, a stir fry where you take beef and instead of regular broccoli, we're going to get some gailan or Chinese broccoli from the Asian store. So that's going to be another meal for this week. Um, now, you know, we could buy like flank steak or something, but they don't sell flank at my Aldi. And, you know, as you know, I'm kind of lazy to chop and this already comes up chopped up. So and we're not real picky about our beef. So I think this will be good with the um, Chinese broccoli. So that is our um, small Aldi haul for the week. Oh, gosh, I almost forgot. I'm staring right at it. The Sunday Shop Vanilla Sunday Cones. Um, you know, the big dog really loves these. And I didn't see the frozen fruit bars that he likes. They had a lot of popsicle things and you know, a lot of fruity frozen um, desserts, but not the frozen fruit bars that he likes, whether it's the pineapple or strawberry. So he asked for the Sunday cones again, because like I said, they're really good. And I just, you know, I think that having the little um, chocolate at the bottom of the cone just makes it extra special. So that's his treat for the week. Um, but now my haul is officially over because it is pretty tiny, because like I said, we are going to go to the Asian market to pick up stuff like more kimchi, uh, Korean radish, the Chinese broccoli, um, and some other things. I can't remember what's on my list. Oh, the russet potatoes, of course. So we can have, you know, different types of meals this week. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this small haul, and I'll probably be be back next week with a bigger haul when we eat more traditional foods, 
dump and dump and go instant pot meals because we'll be back to work. But anyways, um, I just want to thank all of you for popping in to watch this video. And if you're new, you know, please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all my followers very much. And to all of you who are subscribing, yay! Thank you very much. I appreciate you, and you know, we we keep plugging on. Um, I appreciate all of your comments. Uh, I try, you know, I respond to them when I, you know, when I have time. And you know, just we'll keep on plugging on. So once again, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And I look forward to any comments you might have, any questions. And I will see you all next week. Take care and stay safe. Bye.